will tell you all about how to use your clutches and how to use those tiny clips that you buy. I mean, the problem is we have lots and lots of hair clips out there, we have lots and lots of clips out there, but we don't know how to use them. So, I'm going to tell you samples and I'm going to give you an idea how to use them. So, how do you use uh, something which is like this, a bow, which is symmetrical in structure and uh, that is this size of this bow is equal to this one. How do I use this one on my hair without making it look weird? So the thing is, you need to understand if, you, if something has a symmetrical structure like this, that you can see properly, you need to use it in a way that it looks more symmetrical, something like putting it here, okay? Uh, I'm not getting that, so you, can you see that? Yeah, so when you wear something like that, it looks pretty. Instead of you wearing it, something over here. Okay, because you can see this clip portion here. We don't want the clip to be seen. So when something is symmetrical, make sure that you pair it up in a place where it looks even more symmetrical. This we saw this, this is a symmetrical one. We have we all have something like this where the structure is unsymmetrical. That is something which is shaped in a flower, like a flower or a star, which is like an equal star. So what do we do with that? We we put it in the side because it's unsymmetrical. So if I'm gonna go out and I wanna make it look cute, I pair it up something like this. Okay, can you see that? So pairing up some a structure like this in the middle will make you look tacky and we don't want to look tacky to me. And how do you use um, tiny tiny clutches like this? You need to remember that the only way of using tiny clutches is taking some very amount of hair loss. Like even if I'm having home, I can round this up, okay? Round this up and bring it to the front and use a tiny clutch like this or a medium clutch like this. Okay, can you see the cute cute hearts on there? It's like three hearts. Can you see that? <laughs> like this. So we have three hearts here. So I can use something like this and pair it up. So we can pair it up and put it up like this. Okay, so this would give you a cute look. This is how you use it. Or we can take a part of your hair and clip it up. I mean, it's the most common one that everyone uses. Uh, next, you need to know about is which are vertical, clips which are vertical. How do you use them? You use them either to take your hair up and tie you. I'll just show you how to use them. So, I'm going to take my rubber bands off and I'm going to use this clutch like. I'm just turning it up. I'm just going to place it underneath. Okay, so there you go. Got it? There, 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 there. So the idea of this kind of a clutch is to give you an elevated look. It's to give you your, your hair some volume. When they see, see you in the front or when they see your hair in the back, it's just make your hair more bouncy when you're walking rather than just putting a rubber band or a stretch band which is fine anywhere. So uh, next is to use this is the Desi version, the Indian kind of clip that I think you can find it in any market. And how do you use this? This you use it mainly uh, when you're wearing uh, something ethnic. I mean, I can use it when I'm wearing something ethnic. So what do I do? I take this off. I don't take it off completely. It's difficult to do. Just take it up half like this and give it to the hair and pin it up like this. You can use it full if uh, it, it suits your hair. If you have lesser hair, it will occupy this much of space. If you have more hair, just take part of your space, uh, part of your hair and uh, pin it up with this. It looks great when you see it from behind. And uh, next I have the simple one. I have something like this, which is again a similar version of taking the pin, part of the pin out and completely taking half of the hair. You have divisions like this, which is difficult to handle. So if you're not used, a uh, lot of clips like this just try to avoid it because I mean it gets stuck in your hair and it, it pains when you pull it off so if 
if I start getting used to such clips, then I will have the clips clutch or like this. The one which has a mouth like this. Okay, this one is generally used to take all of your hair and pin it right up on the top and make give you a very flowy look to that hair. So if you are planning to use it, just remember how to use it. So I'm going to tell you how to use it. I'm going to take all my hair up and I'm going to tie it really, really high because I mean I like it that way. I really, really love high points. So I'm going to take it all my hair up like this and I'm going to take this clip here and I'm going to clip it away. I have managed to clip it up so you can see. So it looks like this. So when you get it, also gives you a high pony look, but you need to remember it gives a more waterfall look rather than a, a clumped up and sleek look. You need to remember that it gives you more shadows, it gives you waterfall. Your hair would automatically arrange itself in different lengths to give something like this. Okay, so you need to remember this is my first YouTube tutorial so I think I've been a little silly out here. I'm not seeing the camera. I don't know why and I, I hope you subscribe to me and you can always, um, I don't know, write to me or you know, leave something in the comments, whatever you feel like and um, you can go to my blog which is in the description and you can follow me, subscribe me. I I think I have to switch it off now so um, bye I guess I don't know bye bye I have to switch it off here okay okay bye again sorry bye I'm sorry